hello and welcome back. We are on the high seas in the Deathfire Archipelago and we are just doing whatever we want. Actually, uh, I don't know. Are we going to Wartikiwara? To Bacardna? We can also check out uh, Ashen's Maw, Motaro Cozy. We have a lot of places to explore. I don't know, maybe go toward the... Toward the south? I don't know, I have a feeling about this. Who knows? I suspect that this uh, part of the map is probably lower level uh, than the the top. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, well, I guess we'll just find out. So do I see more? It seems like we see more. I don't know. Could be just a placebo. takes so long. Like, this is clearly not the appropriate way to explore things. Is it? Alright, let's go back toward... Oh, what is that? Principi Sampatrena? That seems pretty high level. How high level you guys are? They're level 15. That's... that's easy. So they're probably gonna have a lot of... exceptional gear. Maybe superb. Probably superb. Maybe not so le not so much legendary. Pretty just attack me on sight. How rude. That's because they're pirates, and they think them just an easy mark. Not because they hate me. Hell yeah! Uh, oh boy, look at that. I wanna intimidate some people now. Uh, chain lightning that's just very safe to do let's hit the crystal here yeah let's just keep wrecking them with chain lightning One more chain lightning, but we don't need it anymore. I want to take over ships. Oh, come on. Oh, we killed them all. Oh, legendary? Okay. Legendary again. Legendary, legendary. Super one handed. Paddle. What is this even? I don't even know. It's a sword? Deals best of crush or slash damage, plus 10 damage is raw. Chance to daze on heads. 3% melee damage for each enemy engaged. And more enemies engaged because of this. Meh. Legendary light armor. Oh, legendary pistol. That's nice. This is the first time you're finding a legendary or even a, a better than superb pistol. Okay, they had some good stuff. We're probably not gonna use any of it, but... At least they had something. What is that? Port to an unidentified location.
A knock at your cabin door interrupts your reading. Oswald stands outside, looking like someone who's just lost the bet. Captain, you best come up topside. The ship... There's a ship on the horizon. Looks derelict. Oswald leads you up to the forecastle, where a small gaggle of hands have gathered. Pawing a holy symbol, handsome Elian points towards the uh, port. It's bad omen, Captain. We should give them over to the Lady of Lament, or there will be trouble, mark my words. Chipotec chuckles. We don't even know if it's if they're dead, much less what fills their holes, and you want to sink them? Saffron shakes his head at Chipotec. Oswald ain't uh, farting out of it, the mouth. This is or no, ship, a ship dead at sea ain't often nothing but trouble. The ship in question lists upon the waves, its sails pulled in, topping the mast in a, is a green flag, a symbol of a ship carrying disease. You see no movement on this deck. Okay, spyglass. You pull out your spyglass and examine the derelict. Nothing moves above deck. You spot a corpse sprawled out on the forecastle. A few more seconds, examination reveals another uh, further aft. Beneath the plague signal, you see a flag depicting a lit candle in an open doorway. You recognize it's the emblem of the kind vaporers. Can I go over... Prepare the cannons! We sink it! Shipwreck. I always, uh. Well, did I ever go to a, a plague ship? It doesn't seem like a very inviting place. So I never go there. Oh, that storm is annoying. Can you just move away? What happened if we go into the storm? Some kind of special event? Okay. We already had one of these uh, encounters. Break through the wave with magic. Come on. We had enough of this. It's not that I don't like it. I just I just feel like this this thing repeats, and therefore I, I just don't really like really dealing a lot dealing with it after after I dealt with it once because it's very similar. Oh, we got Ains of many eyes. Seems like an easy uh, challenge. Let's go this way and keep exploring. So, what kind of island is this? Unidentified location with a lot of loot, and seems like only one way to land. Ains of many eyes. You want to die? I think that's uh, what she's going for. Wait for me. Oh, she wants to fight me? Okay. He's level 11. I'm using the close the board uh, deals no damage because uh, you can 
very often do the same thing in the mini game, and I just don't care for the mini game. Valiant fighter on our side. Can just do some chain lightnings. <laughs> nah, chain lightning is not so bad. Did run out of out of the chain lightnings. We don't always have to do the exposed vulnerabilities. We might just tweak the AI. We're only gonna do that if it's appropriate. So, we have two left to kill, one is hiding. Whoa! Hell, Gina? What the hell? Well, that's garbage. Oh, the crew morale is great! 80 morale? Crew, you do love me, right? So, we have to check out the the Black Isles. Huh. Great. Hall of the Unseen. The land here is shattered and barren, eerily quiet with jagged hillocks plunging abruptly into the calm, clear seas. No birds fly above, and you... You've not spotted the first boar or rat or lizard. By comparison, the camp ahead positively bustles. Horses are tied off to stakes. A rope figure, called pulled over his head, sits upon a crate, and the scent of heavy, hearty uh, stew wafts from the pot hanging over the small campfire. Thoughts? Approach the camp. As you advance, the flaps on two of the closer tents open, disgorging a little wood elf in a Deeran finery, a bulky almana with cerulean skin and one of the savannah folk, who levels a large crossbow at your heart. Not another step, stranger. The elf smiles warmly at you, rather mixing the message. The rope figure within the camp makes no movement at all. We're not here to cause trouble. But the Adairan woman bows slightly at the waist, brown hair falling over her face in loose curls. In that case, who are we to keep you from our company? Please join us by the fire, she gestures to the camp. The trio guide you among the tents. There seem too many for the few kits you see about, the elf graciously offers you a seat at the fire. The robe figure makes no apparent notice of your arrival, their cow casting their visage in an impen impenetrable shadow. We have soup, the Amana says, stew really, and you're really welcome to make use of our tent, if you care to rest. There's a lot of tents, where's the rest of the crew? The Savannah folk smirks around. They keep their eyes open, the elf says. The Yamana nods, for danger, among other things. Who's your hooded friend? The woman laughs lightly. And just that, perhaps you should ask yourself. Approach the... And look under the hood? You approach the figure, who makes no move. Each step takes you closer, yet somehow also further away. The crossing seems to take minutes. 
and the campfire falls away to your periphery, yet you can't stop. Bending low, you peer up under the hood into the face within. A hairless face with pale gray skin, thin lips, a narrow nose and no eye sockets at all. Priest of Whale, who was also very religious, or, or, we don't know. Not that return to your seat. What in the name of Whale is going on here? The visage smiles, its mouth curling at the corners, the figure stands. You shudder. No, the ground shudders, or the air. The dirt churns beneath your feet and your stomach leaps into your throat as the ground opens beneath you. You plunge into darkness. When you wake, the ground is bare. No tents, no horses, no traces, even of a campfire. Okay. So we better keep an eye out in this uh, land. Kraken's eye. Well, we can loot that on the way out. We need to go to the Hall of the Unseen. After an arduous journey, you finally reach the center of the jungle. Before you is a broad-faced stone building, rugged with, rugged with age. The eye of wall, solitary and all-seeing, is emblazoned above the door. You approach the door, though clearly made only of stone, you feel the burn of the eye's regard between your eyes. The door swings open without a sound and reveals a dark, narrow staircase winding down into the earth. <clears throat> Some creepy temple dedicated to Val? Okay, sure. Uh, we'll definitely check it out. Sure. Hmm. Sure. Some kind Anyone of puzzle. Bring a spool of fishing line? Oh boy. Did I manage to close the door? This is a very odd way to build a cave. Abandoned dog in this cave? Sure. I suspected this. Not a way down. Okay. Eh? No problem. Well, something I can Shiza, do. can you operate these things? She can't. So we're gonna send Soti around. back. Seems like that's how it's gonna go. Eh? Why not? Got it. Eh? Can yeah. Salty rejoin the team? Uh huh. Seems like not. What do you need? Leave it to me. Why can't we go? Is it locked? Like a kiff's mine in here. Four switchbacks and four starts. So that doesn't open. Sure thing. Yeah. Bye. Right. 
Now you can go back. Speak freely. Let's go. Captain. Give me the order. Happy to oblige. Aye, aye. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we can go now. Sure. I really hope hmm? at the end of uh -huh. all this. We don't have to find our way out. Captain. Superb. Why not? Open all doors. Oh, let's close all doors. Uh oh. Good thing I really? We're in trouble. Are these big to anything? Can we drop a pillar in the middle? We can. Seraphin, don't be a dumbass. Unbelievable. Why did you have to fuck it up? Go away. Yeah, use the heels. He's dead. Don't run into the AOE. That's not even AI. That's just not being stupid. Okay, all door open. It would be nice if the red area of your spell would be a no-go zone for your teammates. That would be a very easy way to do it. So they would never consider going there. They would treat it as wall, for example. Of course, sometimes you might actually want to go there, but... Having that option, and having that option... Be the default behavior, would be... Isn't this the Black Isles? This is the Black Isle. How could we not go for that? <gasps> Tikiwara. Sure. I hear the sea shanties. They turn on, but they never do it. What the hell is that? Into brief.
Ah, that's a bit, bit of a bummer because I think we need to leave it there. You find two of your crew members playing a game in the hold. That's fine. It's a long voyage. I'm I'm fine with that. Oh. This again? I don't want to play Orland Head. You guys want to play Orland Head? Uh be my guest. But I don't want to play it. I just don't like Orland's head. Splintered Reef? Seems like a... Perhaps a... Uh, something that we need to check out later. But currently it's not even possible to land there. Come on. We to check. Oh, this is the whale encounter. There's something in the water. Identify it. You do it. It's a whale. It's a sprout. What? Prepare for the hunt. If the whale dives, they're in trouble. Let it go, say nothing. Pfft. Say nothing! It hauls the skiff in a wide circle around the ship, knocking against the hole, nearly yanking Chipotec's arm from the socket. Still, you feel the creature's strength beginning to wane. Several hours later, what? Venizi deems it safe to leap aboard the beast with a few swift swigs of the hatchet, the sailor sewers the beast's spinal cord. Well, we... We got Mohara meat. Worthless idiot gained the rank. Hell yeah! Look at the morale. They are lively. The crew is happy as hell. They're doing a good job. And they know it. And they are... Not modest about it, like you don't need to. You, they don't need to be modest about it. They know they do a great job. What the hell is this? Cartag. Another ruin tower. Yeah, this is pretty generic. No unique uh, encounters so far. I explored most of it. Like Northwest was like ridiculously impactful compared to what we're seeing at at Southeast. Like it's not even close. Of course, like we still have to explore a little bit, but no, I don't want to go into the storm again. Even if it gives us experience. Gunpowder. Water is not making us super happy. How could you hit on water? No oh, more loot. Shipwreck. Pokokohara ruins. <clears throat> Kabara Reku Shrine. Who's knocking at the. My quarters? Okay, an unexpected cold wind. Cold wind blows across the deck of, your sh of the ship, and even after several hours has not abated. Beldo sheepishly knocks on your cabin door. When he enters, his skin is pale, his brow dotted with beads of sweat. Begging your pardon, Captain, but this is an ill wind sent by Ondra. 
we've sailed too long without offering her tribute. We sh she's sure to punish us if we don't give her what she's due. He tilts his head towards the hatch, beckoning you to follow him to the deck. Ceremoniously tossed 1,000 copper overboard. I, I think we can spare something for the Lady of Lament. We just don't have the coin to spare. But Captain, you're defying Gondra. Throw Beldul overboard. Get back to work. Shoulders slumped, Beldul heads back to work. Over the next day, you catch glimpses of the crew looking your way and muttering, sometimes shaking their heads and sighing. By the following day, the wind has lifted and the crew's mood lightens, but they maintain the nagging feeling that you've offended a god. I'm doing you guys a favor! If you wanna throw your money- Hey, I'm not stopping you! If you wanna throw your money out of the ship, you're free to do that. You are so free to do that. But, don't ask me to throw my money. They're just literally asking me to throw my money into the bloody ocean for their whatever that is. Whatever you call it. Misguidedness. Throw that fire company! Junk. Oh, they're level 9. Well, that's one way to say they're dead. <laughs> there are a lot of them. Are they gonna be super weak? Let's see the AI. Probably should prioritize that. Yeah, I don't have a lot of uh, spells put in there. Look at this. Retargeted. The AOE on this thing is just stupid. Right. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. High level wizard spells. No bad. Let's send the one up uh there as well. Oh. You have to kill these guys? But they have nothing, they're low level. Unidentified location. Wapau jungle. I see. Whoa, we ha we see our guy there. Who are you, Veen? You wanna fight me? Is he coming this way? Is he going away? He went away. Well, I guess killing him has to wait. Wapau jungle. A defected uh, sweltering jungle looms around and above you. The thick canopy capturing the heat. Sweat clings to your nostrils and drips from your chin. Nothing seems to move in all of the world, save you. Your companion's complaints fell silent hours ago. Save for Seraphim, who summons up a new creative objection every 10 minutes or so. You pause beside a broad, stagnant waterway and are refilling your skins when you hear movement in the wilds ahead of you. A trio of kids step out of the trees and into the water, their torn and filthy robes billowing in the water. They pause near the center of the creek. The central figure, a uh, beautific savannah folk, smiles up at you. 
Watcher! Watcher of Cadua! What the hell? He raises his palms to you. We mean you no harm, indeed. We awaited you here because we have a... Uh, glances toward the others traveling with you. Here? Here? Um... That's a very... Uh, it's a very odd place for a... a get-together. He bows his head slightly. We offer a proposal. If you would step aside with us to here. Anything you want to say to me, you can say it in front of my friends. The bald elf on the left shakes his head. Not this, he rasps. Move closer, I'm listening. No, no, no. Just who are you? Do you how do you know my name? We are friends of a friend, the man says. A potential friend, perhaps. A friend of a potential, certainly. I, I, I'm listening. Well, I'm just gonna go closer. The man lowers his vo voice. There exists a place hidden among uh, these wilds. An old place watched by the quiet slave. For one willing to make a sacrifice. A true sacrifice, says the woman at his side. As she nods towards your companions, such devotion shall be rewarded by him in turn. Let me offer a country proposal, die. <laughs> I'll never do that. The woman smirks. So be it, then you will not see us again. Watch as you will. The central man bows his head slightly. And the trio backs away. They fade into the jungle. Really? They were waiting for me here? Just so I can kill one of my companions? Okay. After traipsing uh, through a barren desert for several hours, you come upon an inguitan ruin in the center of a clearing. As you near, you realize the door to the ruin's entrance is emblazoned with a broken crown of uh, emblazoned with the broken crown of Vodika. The door swings open at your approach and you immediately feel an oppressive presence butting against your mind. It tests your mental defenses, searching for a gap to exploit. Then, just as quickly as the presence arrived, it's gone. That's it? We're going in? Well, we still have to explore, like Tikawara and the, the other place we found. Not because this subterranean yeah, temple. Something feels queer in a cool. Well, here, Cap. Rubbing up half hard against my forts. Good fuddy. Okay. Okay, maybe we wanna hotkey this. Seem to be a, a useful skill to use. Let's do a big AoE again. This seems pretty. They seem fairly strong. Damn, the OE. Fine. Exceptional. Mostly just garbage. That's a long journal. So basically this is uh, a story of some retiree soldier guy who wanted to look for the temple of Vodika. Sure.
A statue of Wodika bears an exquisite mace in its hands. A presence in the mace reaches out to touch your mind. The presence you first encountered when you entered the ruins. Um, examine the mace? The mace's leather wrapped hilt is curiously untouched by age. It, its head is fashioned from a dark metal and radiates a cruel and biting cold. Examine the statue. Grab the mace. You find the mace painfully cold to the touch. The presence inhabitate inhabit inhabiting it pros at the edges of your mind. Searches for cracks in your mental defenses. Close up your mind! You dedicate all your concentration on blocking the mace's efforts to get its hook into your mind. Take the mace. Though you prevented the mace from controlling your thoughts, you haven't managed to crush its will. A surge of power bursts from the mace, compelling you to leave it where it lies. You're helpless to resist. Well, someone else take it. Grab the mace. Let go of the mace. We can't take it. We don't have enough, uh, I suppose, willpower to take the mace. Oh, bunch of sacrifices over here. Hmm. And it's a watcher only check as well. She doesn't really have the highest willpower. I don't know how to name this. Island. I'm gonna call it the face mace. Done. What else we got? Abandoned village. So we can check out Pukukuhara ruins. I'm a little bit foggy on, on what I need to do there anymore. But this this place is definitely uh, has less going on than the, the top left and of course the I mean top top right no the top left and the bo bottom left merchant whatever okay abandoned village just some loot yeah let's go Ahoy mateys, we need to go. We need to go right now. What kind of islands? The Hivan? The Hivai Islands? Tikiwara. We are not gonna go to Tikiwara. The next step is Pukukuhara. And to Pukukuhara, I think we have Yeah, at least two quests. Come on, no storms. I don't want to deal with that. Anyway guys, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.